So here we go, Iowa State in Illinois. Our officials, a great crew. Kip Kissinger in his 13th NCAA tournament. His six Sweet 16, he's officiated two Final Fours. Courtney Green, seventh NCAA tournament, fourth Sweet 16. And Lee Cassell in his 16th tournament, six Sweet 16. And here we go for the right to make the Elite Eight. And Shannon on top, the ball knocked away. There's the defense. Gilbert was the one to jar it. And they bring it up with Lipsy now for Iowa State. Stan, that's what you talked about, <laughs> but at least Illinois got back defensively. One possession, one turnover. They turned people over more than one out of every four possessions. Kanan Lipsy. Rebound retrieved inside by the Illini and Ty Rogers. Damask will bring it down. Now he likes to back people down. But they're going to come and double team this. You see it right there. On top, Hawkins kicks it over the shield. It's a free. That's how you beat the double team. You, do you move team. the ball, find the open guy. Well, and the one thing about the mask now, he's got great size. Six foot six passing out of that. And then the extra pass down to Shannon, who's, a, in my opinion, the best offensive player in America. Ball on the floor. Bonchilovic was down there getting it. Damask was against him. Those are two Wisconsin high school players going head to head. That is a great pass out of the double team. Didn't float it, snapped it, which gave up, slowed down the rotations for Iowa State. You get it out of that double team, you're playing four on three, and somebody's going to be wide open. Iowa State has beaten four top 25 teams this month. Lips into the rack. With the rebound by Coleman Hawkins, he is a senior. Damas the other way, Lipsy is on him, the quick double. Looking to feed, he does so to Rogers. Hawkins swinging it around, on the wing. Gillier, Hawkins again, he's from Sacramento. Shannon, setting a screen, another three. Rebound, Rogers, got it for the Illini. Inside it goes, Gillier. Robert Jones with the Cyclones. Well, and the rebounding is the one major problem Iowa State's defense has. Because they're in rotation so much, they are not a very good defensive rebounding team. Gilbert's got it. Iowa State, the number two seed, number four in the AP Top 25. The ball. That ball was just snatched out of the air by Shannon. Look at him race and collide. The three happens. That's what Shannon does. He gets the ball and he goes and you risk life and limb if you try to get in his way. He is the college version of Giannis on the Kumpo coming down in transition. Bonchilovic gets it off on the side. He gets it back on top. He'll take a three. It's off balance. Rebound snared by Shannon. First team all Big Ten. Now Hawkins. He's got Jones on it. The bump and the foul, and it will go on Robert Jones, number one. And here it is, great steal on the lob by Shannon. He's looking to go coast to coast, bodies converge, but that just leaves somebody open. And you'll see this with Iowa State all night, too. They sub early and often. Three new guys coming into the game already here for the Cyclones. They bring in Curtis Jones. Damarian Watson has come in. And Shannon John top. Played at Texas Tech. Transfers into the program. Dances here. Gets on the wing. And in the corner. Three. Puts it down. A great start for the Illini. And I haven't liked any of the three shots that Iowa State has taken. They've all been tough. They've all been rushed. Son Ward is also in there, and there's a floater on the fly. That will go down. Curtis Jones, a senior from Minneapolis, hits it. He's the most skilled offensively of any of their guards. Damas driving, bumping, foul. You're going to see a lot of that tonight from Iowa State. 
They are very physical. Brad Underwood talked about it yesterday, getting his team ready. They're going to bump you with the lower body, and they're going to go with the uh, old Jerry Sloan philosophy, which is they can't call them all. <laughs> Ty Rogers will check out. Justin Arman checks in for the Illini. As they're spinning off with that inbound off to Hawkins. And again, they double on the win. Here he is. It finally ends up on the side. Shannon will be free. He's knocked down a couple. Five making six points. And the lead is nine for Illinois. You can't move the ball any better than that. On the fly and off balance. Gilbert got the shot up. He was fouled. And we may see a lot of this. A lot of contact right off the bat. Look at this ball movement. Three, four passes. And knocks down the three. A lion eye up nine. Back in Boston, taking a look at advanced stats, presented by Invesco QQQ. And you're talking about defense, some big time numbers by Iowa State in that category. Yeah, look, we said it, they force turnovers on more than a quarter of their opponent's possession, second most in the nation, 17.3. The start has been great by Illinois, Dan, they've moved the ball great out of the double teams. This Iowa State team keeps coming. They wear on you. You've got to do this not for four minutes, but for 40 minutes. Absolutely. And remember, in their last game against Washington State, Iowa State won the points off turnover battle 21 to 4. So forcing turnovers and turning them into offense is critical for the Cyclones. Keyshawn Gilbert at the line. Rebound by Damask. Also in Dean Danger, Justin Arman and Luke Goody. And Goody's got the ball. He's from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Draws the double. That's all we see. Always in a straight jacket. Gets it away. And throws it away. A turnover right there. Gilbert racing. Through traffic and off balance. It's a wild looking shot. Danger's got the ball. Retaken by Lipson. He sets. Outside. It's a Jones. Three for Iowa State. Well, Kevin, that's what we're talking about. Damask had handled the double teams great early, then he turns it over, and now another turnover, two in a row right there, and they convert and hit a three. Illinois, first week 16 in 19 years, Danger inside, fouled as he drove. He took it in. Looked to me like he jumped over that guy. And this is what you're talking about, Stan. These guys are constant. It's not just in the half court that they can force turnovers. And they force the turnover and they convert it. And a good call there. I think he was set before Danger took off, but he's got a foot in the restricted area. A good call. So Curtis Jones picks up his second foul. He's quickly going to be taken off the floor. And that says something about the way these Cyclones play defense. Danger is one big fellow. And Jones stood in there and took it. Oh, yeah, they don't. Listen, nobody will back out or not give up their body with this Iowa State team. They will all stand in there. Danger, a sub-50% free throw shooter, misses both of them there. He's made 19 straight field goal attempts. Free throws, a whole different deal. <laughs> There's the honorable ball. All-America Lipsy. On top Ward. And Taman Lipsy again. Penetrates down low into a couple defenders. Ward tried to get the ball. Danger ripped it away. Foul called Iowa State. Stan, and, and you're Iowa right. State. Iowa State is really rushing and taking very difficult shots. Yeah, I have not liked their shot selection at all other than Jones, Curtis Jones. And he's the one who's got both of their buckets, and both of his shots have been nice on-balance shots. Everybody else shooting a lot of shots under duress. Cyclones bring back in Trey King. It's the Illini the other way, led by Justin Harmon. Now to Damask, who played at Southern Illinois, a transfer at decorated Missouri Valley Conference player. Shannon drives and feeds Goody in the corner. Damask down low. Back out to Goody. Swings it on the wing. Corner three. Shannon. Count it. Foul. 
goal. Basket will count, foul goes on Illinois. Now when the foul is on the offensive team, the shot has to be released before the foul. And so the shot is now in the air, and you can see danger underneath the basket pushing. If that ball is not released, then it, it, the basket doesn't count, and they're going to go look at that. And if it counts, that's already Shannon's third three of the night. <laughs> And that ball's clearly in the air before the foul comes. They will count that basket. Well, it's clearly in the air before Danger threw whoever that was to the free throw line. So Terrence Shannon is off to a terrific start. Nine points for Illinois. Hey, hey look, Terrence Shannon in the postseason, starting with the Big Ten tournament, oh my gosh. has been incredible average in the five postseason games over 31 points a game shooting 53 percent from the floor over 40 percent from three and has been to the line 58 times in five games and shot 88 percent king is on top and lipsy was hounded by ty rogers who picks up the foul for the fighting alina it is number one on him. Now you want to be aggressive, but you don't want to commit a foul out there. Here are the numbers on Shannon. He Not averaged 23 points a game in the regular season, the highest Illini scoring average in 51 years. A turnover right there by Iowa State. Iowa State stand looks to me like they're going a little bit too fast on yeah, offense. Yeah, I, I totally agree. They uh, are not very poised on the offensive end right now. Not, not usually a team who turns the ball over all that much. Illinois, four of five on threes. Hawkins on top. Very versatile player and a very savvy veteran. Shannon will dance his three. Rebound, Monchilovic will take it the other way. He is a freshman from Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Long three, and Lipsy couldn't get it. Leaping rebound, Rodgers. Quick outlet to Shannon. The number one offense in college basketball with it. Well, Iowa State just with no patience whatsoever offensively early in the game. Rodgers is soft ball from Saginaw, Michigan. Jones is on him. That's the ball. Lipsy will vacuum it in. Drives on Hawkins. And the trailing big man out there with the bump. And Lipsy gets it back. Down low, King, grinding with Rodgers. Dan, I just absolutely hate the shots that Iowa State is taking. Oh Hawkins, my. a three! And no. Almost lassoed inside and finally taken by Keyshawn Gilbert. Probably didn't like that one much either, did you, That was a little deep to be that early, yeah. <laughs> Unless you're Steph Curry, which he's not, or Caitlin Clark, or Caitlin Clark, good point. He got some shoving away from the ball, and a foul is called. It's on Illinois. Watch the men, Sweet 16 on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Download now. Stay up to date on all the action as Harmon picks up the Illinois foul, number one. Yeah, and I'm with Dan. I didn't like that foul either. That's two bad fouls to me. Jones, third year with the program. Now Curtis Jones, who got it from Robert Jones. Robert to Curtis. Curtis Jones, a floater. With another rebound by Rogers. He's got four already for the Illini. That's what he does. He defends and rebounds. Yes, he does. One of the top players to come out of Michigan. one of the most impactful non-shooters in the college game. Dre Gibbs Lawhorn is in. He's got it here. He's a freshman in the three. We have the rebound by the leaping Lipsy. Right now, Illinois started out making those threes, but if Iowa State can limit him to those threes, then this game might tighten up pretty quickly. Amchidovic. Hawkins the rebound. Averages about five a game. On the wing, the mass inside, Rogers! Biggest Illinois lead! 
Now, Rodgers, I mean, he's great attacking the basket. He has never attempted a three-point basket in college. And he won. And there's something to be said for guys who know who they are. Robert Jones on top. Makes a move. Takes a look. Played a couple years at Denver. Curtis Jones on the fly. Rebound. Off of everybody's hands and off of the Cyclones. It's Illinois' Bowen. 10 54 to go. The Illini inside Rodgers the dunk. And off to a 10-point lead. Illini by 10. Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA.com. Moments ago, Andy caught up with Iowa State coach T.J. Otzelberger. T.J., how do you get more patience offensively? Yeah, we just got to have more poise. We're, we're getting sped up. Uh, they're tall. They've got length around the court. We just got to do a great job having patience, playing for one another, being confident, playing later in the clock than we are. Thanks, T.J. Thanks, Andy. Former head coach at UNLV, also at South Dakota State. Iowa State, Dan from Curtis Jones, he's gone two of four. The rest of the team for Iowa State, 0 of eight. The one thing that Iowa State has done well tonight is Illinois is the team, particularly with Shannon, that likes to attack the basket. They haven't been able to do that tonight. And Iowa State in a zone, and that's fairly rare for them. You won't see much zone out of them. It's to mask in the corner for Gary A. Three converge, Shannon on top, maneuvers, and a 20-footer. Rebound snared inside and grabbed, and they come the other way. The rebound to Hassan Ward. Again, though, he was not able to get to the basket. They forced him into that pull-up jumper. Look, their defense after the first couple of minutes has been fine. They've got to find some answer offensively. I mean, Illinois is on a pace to score about 64 points then. Ward, who used to start at VCU, was driving and swinging fouled on the play in the paint. Hawkins. Well, not quite sure why that's not a charge, but a little break there, I think, for Iowa State. I think from that angle, looking at it from that angle, and that's the angle the referee's looking at, it looked like Hawkins moved into the path at the last second. But from my angle and from Brad Underwood's angle, yes. it didn't look that way. Jones. Curtis Jones hits again. Eight points for him. He's got eight of Iowa State's nine. They're probably glad they brought him. Yes, they are. Well, I said when he came in, I thought he was their most skilled offensive guard. Curtis Jones, a transfer from Buffalo. University of Buffalo. Shannon, Rogers, Hawkins, Shannon, slashing, driving, fouled as he took it in. And that will go on Keyshawn Gilbert, number one. And that's the first time that we've seen Shannon really attack the basket. And that's why he shoots so many free throws, Stan. Well, listen, it's an amazing thing with Shannon. He is the only player in the country, Kevin, who averages two made threes a game and seven made free throws a game. That is hard to do. The guys who get to the free throw line are the guys who are attackers. And then you have the shooters. He's both. You see it there. Look at these numbers. Incredible. And to just put it in perspective, Dan, there's one player in the NBA who does it, and it's Luka Doncic. <laughs> well, all that talk about making free throws, he missed two. Yeah, well. The line, Iowa, four from the free throw line. Curtis Jones, looking for Ward, takes it in around Damascus. Marcus Damask. Damask picked up the foul, and this kid comes in. Damask is the one to get him, and Jones with the terrific. He had no Division I offers. Played at the University of Buffalo, led them in scoring last year, and now he's been the sole scorer. He's got 11 of Iowa State's 12. 
And we said right off, you know, people tend to overreact with teams like Iowa State. They got down big, and you're like, oh, my gosh, here we go. They just stay with it. They wear on teams. And we're back in a four-point game. They're four for 14 from the floor, and it's a four-point game. They got Rodgers inbounding. Hawkins on top of three. Coleman Hawkins puts it up and in. Coleman Hawkins can do it all. 12.6 rebounds, three assists. Averages over a steal again and over a block shot again. He will fill up a stat sheet. It's picked off by Shannon for race the other way. Skywalker. Well, with all those offensive numbers we showed you, Stan Shannon can be a dominating force on the defensive end. Uh, I absolutely right. This guy's a two-way player. Look at that defense forcing a tough shot. Trying to say that Jones on the floor. Out of bounds at once. Uh, Terrence Shannon can score. He can defend. Ah. Not many better players out there than he is. He's had a single season scoring record for Illinois this year. And third in the nation in scoring. And it's just gotten better as the games have gotten bigger. Hawkins and Jones is on him. Hawkins makes a move, they switch. Shannon is Robert Jones defending. Shot clock at nine. Little rats and razzle. Shaken right there. It's picked up on the rebound by Trey King. The other way, Gilbert. In the corner, Jones. Three. No. Shannon the rebound. Here come the Illini. It's Goody on the wing. Puts on the brakes and sets. It's another rush shot by Iowa State. Off balance. Three-pointer on one pass. Illinois has won six in a row. They've won nine of ten. Shot clock at seven. Hawkins will set on the wing. Goody, a three off and out of bounds with a shove underneath and a foul on Illinois. Time out taken. Illinois is flying. Back in Boston, watch Masters Live for exclusive coverage of Amen Corner, 15 and 16, and featured groups. Watch live on the CBS Sports app. Illinois, seven assists on eight made field goals. Andy Katz caught up with the Illini coach, Brad Underwood. Brad, in what way has the first 12 minutes gone to script? Well, we've got great ball movement. We've missed a couple wide open shots. We've we missed a couple free throws. Um, I like what we're doing on that end. I love what we're doing right now defensively. Uh, we're making them shoot hard shots. We've got to keep that up. Uh, when they've scored, it's been off our turnovers. We gave them a wide open three late in transition. We can't do that, but uh, so far, so good. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Andy. You know, go back to March 5th. Underwood criticized the effort after a loss to Purdue. Since that kind of public Chastising, they've won six consecutive games, and here they are in the Sweet 16. Gilbert, Jones, a screen from Robert Jones. Curtis trying to pry his way in. Not much room, Gilbert trying to fire. Oh, wedged in tight. Now they were more noise ball. They were more patient that time, Kevin. But again, that's a very difficult shot. Heavily contested. Well, when your two guards or your two leading scorers have combined for uh, one point, it's going to be difficult. I mean, you're taking a team in Illinois right now who averages 85 points a game, and they're on pace to score fewer than 60. And you're not in the ball game. Shannon crashes, tries. Wow! This guy is something. Thirteen points. Ron Jones late on getting over there. You got to get over on his left hand. Little seven nothing run right now by the Illini. They were 
the Big Ten Tournament Champions. And that is their second in the last four years. And Shannon gets the three-point play. This guy, Shannon comes at you like a truck. I wouldn't want to get over there. Well, that's what I'm saying. He's got the great speed and strength to finish, and he's already made three threes tonight. This guy does it all. He is the best, in my opinion, the best offensive player in college basketball. Wow. Gilbert, Damask is on him. Double oh, rejected by Danger. Picked up by Robert Jones. Cross court Lipsy. Across the lane. The spin, the kick, the fall, the foul. And that's going to go on Justin Harmon. This is a great recovery by Jones. Danger thinks the ball's out of bounds and stops playing. Absolutely. But that's that's what Iowa State does. They they do keep playing. They keep coming hard. Iowa State in their second Sweet 16 the last three years. As Tim and Lipsy at the line, Iowa's Mr. Basketball. He's from Ames. He went to Ames High School. He's a sophomore. But it's pretty simple, guys, right now. <laughs> the turnovers have calmed down for Illinois. If Iowa State can't turn Illinois over 16, 17 times tonight, they can't win. Well, and one of the things, Stan, that Iowa State, they score so many points off their turnovers. If they've got to play the entire game in a half-court offense, then that's not their strength, and that's why they seem to be struggling right now. Trey King just picked up foul for the Cyclones. We're going to have Damask at the free throw line. First team, all Big Ten. Big Ten newcomer of the year. He played at Southern Illinois three times. All Missouri Valley Conference. He is the Missouri Valley Conference Scholar Athlete of the Year. It's as high an honor as you can get in that conference. It is at the line. The rules are simple. Win to get in. Tune in as playoff hopefuls battle to earn their spot in the postseason. The NBA play-in tournament begins April 16th, 7 o'clock Eastern on TNT, True TV, and Max. 10-1 run by the Illini. And interestingly enough, we've talked about their offense, but the run has been keyed by their defense. Their defense has really helped to speed up Iowa State. Shannon has that steal. They're just playing very aggressively on the defensive end of the court. And they've been terrific, Dan. Iowa State has just, it's not like they're getting good looks and missing. They're struggling to find good looks. They got a good one there and miss. Robert Jones could not get it on the doorstep. That ball is snatched right there by Shannon. And the other thing is that all these loose balls, Illinois seems to be scooping them up. Get those 50-50 balls, a turnover. Lipsy, Hawkins from the side, and Lipsy will sit in for two. Well, that's what they have to do. They got some pressure on Shannon, jumped him on the pick and roll, and he turned the ball over. It might be his only weakness. I'm not sure he's a very good passer. That was Iowa State's first basket by anyone else other than Curtis Jones. It's Damask, Lipsy defending. That's what Damask does. That's the strength of his game. He backs down smaller guys, can make that turnaround jump shot very efficiently. Right, and he was able to do that in the middle of the floor. He can't get that on the side of the floor because Iowa State will double team on the side. Robert Jones puts it back in, he's got two. Iowa State just needs to hang around. And, and they have done that pretty well most night. This is where Damask can use his size. On the side will always be a double team. You don't get much of that here. Shannon. Here's short. It's picked up by Goody. And Shannon will take it down that piece line. Leaping rebound by Trey King. Quick outlet to Gilbert. Shannon will defend. And setting up will be Gilbert. Lipsy, three, good! He shoots almost 40% from out there. He's able to get his feet set there. 
I think Shannon has fallen too much in love with the three-point shot. Damask tipped away. Wow. And tipped in by Rogers. Tipped in by Rogers of the Illini. And I got a little break now. Gilbert, wide traffic. Look at the swarming offense and the defense right there to stop it. They're trying to run, but the defense are there in the to meet them. How about this? Ball was loose, and Ty Rogers was right there to tip it in for Illinois. Their lead, 10. All right, we've got uh, 3.41 to play here in the first half. Three seed Illinois, two seed Iowa State. Iowa State won the Big 12 tournament over number one Houston by 28 points. And that's what they bring in here. We told you Illinois won the Big Ten tournament and an evenly matched game, but we have the best offense in Illinois in the country, the best defense in the country in Iowa State. That sets it up. Late stages, first half. Hacked away on the inbound. What well, a one thing you really notice here, just looking on the floor, Dan, is the difference in size. Yes. Illinois is a much, much bigger team. Lipsy inbound. And he's got Hassan Ward. Mancilovic loves this turnaround. Mancilovic with the shot. And a Hawkins rebound. He loves to turn to that right shoulder on the fadeaway. Mancilovic has been very, very good offensively the last three games, but has done nothing tonight. Oh, look at the trap. Hawkins got it wide open. Shannon inside. Hawkins has done Boy, such a great right. job wow. catching the ball and finding open guys if they can get out of that trap. Mask again using his size. They didn't rotate up quickly enough to Hawkins to take away the pass. And just a great pass. And Shannon back at the free throw line again. But they didn't rotate up fast enough, but I thought Hawkins did a great job finding the open spot. No question. Darren Shannon, whose dad played some pro basketball overseas. At the line, down is Rogers with a whistle and an Iowa State foul with 3-12 to play. Ward will pick up his third. Wow. Stan, you were talking about the Illinois size. And one of the things interesting, they don't really have a point guard. They talk about positionless basketball. And here's Rogers. He's one of those guys. He gets point pushed by Ward. They're all about 6-6. Rogers, his uncle, is Jason Richardson, who played at Michigan State. Coming up on at and at the half. First half analysis and an update on Alabama, North Carolina. And the latest NCAA tournament news. All coming up on at and at the half. With Rodgers again. Starter every game. 62% of the line. This is the one thing Illinois is not doing well tonight. They are struggling on the free throw line. Three for ten now. This game could really be ugly if it weren't for that. Lipsy drives and feeds. And inside, put up and through. Trey King, a senior from Lexington, Kentucky. Iowa State started 419. And they've gone four of six since. They're, they're hanging around. Damask. Deflected by Gilbert and out of bounds. Shot clock at 15. Now that's that's a break for Illinois because Damask really took a risk right there. That was very optimistic to think you're going to throw it all the way through the Iowa State defense. Yeah, too long a pass against a team that does such a good job defensively. That's a foul. It's on Iowa State. Watson jumped in front of Gary and picked it up. Lipsy will pick up number one. Garrier created that foul by not giving up on that ball, by jumping up, and Lipsy's just too small. Garrier is big and he's athletic. There is a huge size difference out here. Garrier began at Syracuse, played there two years, played two years at Oregon. He's from Montreal, graduate senior. 
One of the top ten high school players to come out of Canada. Wow, they are struggling at Isn't the free throw line. You're right, if it wasn't for that, who knows what this game would look like. It's 11 points right now. Could Iowa easily State is now. 15. Right. Lipsy inside. Tap in. Good Trey King. Well, Lipsy's been at the rim two possessions in a row. One for an assist and one that creates an offensive rebound. They've just got to try to get this thing down to seven or eight here at the half. Thomas. Rebound King. Great defense by King there, too. The mask usually does that against smaller guys. Gilbert inside. It's Hawkins who retrieves the loose ball. Gilbert's our leading scorer. He's 0 for 5 tonight from the floor. Damask. Lipsy will pick him up. Doubled. Cross court. Gary free. Off and retrieved by the guy that shot at Gary. On the win, Shannon through short. Watson had the rebound. Lipsy's got the ball on the drive and kicks it in the corner. It's caught Curtis Jones, triple now. Hawkins has the rebound. Gary on the move. Tried to side swipe the defender. And a whistle and an Iowa State foul. How about that outlet pass by Hawkins? I mean, Hawkins is a highly skilled guy. This is one of the things Illinois does. We talk about their offense, right? They made more free throws than their opponents attempted this year. And even as badly as they are shooting tonight, they're on the verge of doing it. Gilbert picked up his second. Watch Sarah Silverman host the new TBS series, Stupid Petricks. Next, after NCAA coverage on TBS. 1.13 to go in the first half. Illinois led by as many as 13, now by 10. Back in Boston, no matter who you're rooting for, fan work is thirsty work. Is Coke Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Try and decide. So three straight NCAA tournament appearances for Iowa State and Illinois four in a row and it's been all Illini now by 10 and Dan by as many as 13. Kevin the year before TJ Otzelberger took over Iowa State won two games. Two and 22 right? Unbelievable. And in, in the three years that he's been there they've won 70 games and been to the NCAA tournament three times. And in the Sweet 16 two years ago but that's the second free throw rebound they've given up. Shannon diving for that loose ball. It's a foul, and it's called on Terrence Shannon. That's his second. And these missed free throws are keeping Iowa State, who's really struggling to score, in the game. There's no question, Dan. I mean, they're getting to the line a lot like they normally do. If they were shooting their normal percentage right now, this would be a 14 or 15 point game. Here's Curtis Jones. He began at Indian Hills Community College in Iowa. And a uh, young kid from Creighton Durham Hall High School in the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul, then went to Buffalo a couple years there. And now with Iowa State. And he was their only offense. Really, he's been the only offense in the first half. He's got 13 of the 26 points. Yeah, look, there are other double-figure scores. Gilbert's 0 for 5. Momchilovic is 0 for 3. And Lipsy's 2 for 7. Damask against the aforementioned Jones. Swivels, feeds, cutting. Guerrier with the rebound by Trey King. And the Cyclones are running. Gilbert with the ball in the corner. It's Jones. Curls, drives, and cannot get it with the defense by Hawkins. Just that is a look, he's been great tonight. That is a very low percentage shot. A left-handed running hook contested by a 6'8 guy. With plenty of time on the shot clock. There's just no excuse for that shot. There's a difference of two seconds. Game clock and shot clock right now. Zone defense, Iowa State. It's a three. Gary 
Rebound to Mask. No. Rebound. Trey King of the Cyclones with a whistle and a foul. With 3.7 to go. Goes on King. Trey King will pick that up. Kevin, the good news is Illinois got fouled. The bad news is they have to go to the free throw line. <laughs> and that's an obvious call, an obvious push. Five of 14. But Hawkins hasn't been there tonight, so maybe he will not be affected. He's an 80% free throw shooter. Only player in Illinois program history to have a uh, level of scoring, rebounding, assisting, block shot steals. And uh, he's done in those categories the most of any player that has played there. The combination of those things, which goes to the versatility comment and the man of many hats in uh, Coleman Hawkins of Illinois. Yeah, absolutely. Highly, highly skilled. Final second. Lipsy, good if it goes. So it's a 10-point game at the half. Illinois had one more turnover, only one turnover, the last 13 minutes against the number one defense in college basketball. But their defense has been pretty good, and as we've said a couple of times, their inability to make free throws is what has kept Iowa State in the game so far. Brad Underwood has been caught up with uh, Andy Katz. Andy? Well, Brad, the last time we chatted, you were pretty pleased. How do you feel now? Well, we're up, to, we're up 10 in the Sweet 16 against the two seed. So you're ecstatic. Uh, it wasn't a thing of beauty. Uh, they're good. They do what they do. Uh, it was kind of choppy at times, but you're up 10 and a half. You got 20 more minutes to go to the Elite Eight. Appreciate it, Brad. Thank you. Thanks, Andy. Brad Underwood took this program, turned it around in his third season in the pandemic 2020 year. Now he's in his seventh season, 36 years a college coach, and he's got his line eye now 20 minutes away from the Elite Eight. We'll take a break and then send you to AT&T at the half after these messages as you're watching NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. Second half will start in a second. Let's take a look at the Wendy's first half stats. Two seed Iowa State, three seed Illinois. Kevin, it's really interesting. Illinois not shooting free throws very well. Iowa State stand just can't make a basket. No, look, and they're having trouble getting good shots. It's funny, we talked about Illinois' offense and Iowa State's defense. I think it's been Illinois' defense that has been the key to this game. And Iowa State almost trying to match what Illinois does offensively, and that's just not their gear. No, they've got to be, and T.J. Otzelberger said it in the first yeah. half talking to Andy, they've got to be more patient on offense. They've gotten themselves sped up, and that's just not the, not a good way to have success. Let's check in with Andy Katz. And he stressed that again at halftime. Very passionately, I should say, because I could hear it in the hallway. And after he told me, look, we are panicking on offense. We're not allowing our defense to get set. When we don't rebound, when we rush offensively, then we're chasing them on the backside, and we're not set, and that turns into runouts for Illinois. All right, Iowa State will control off the tip. And Gilbert will take it in, diving for two, foul call. There's the inbound and get it to go, and he is one of six. And gets that first one to drop. But this is how he plays. So he had all the kinds of room to shoot the pull up, but he wants to take it right at you and draw the contact, really create the contact. Paid off for him that time. Gilbert, Dan, was the Big 12 tournament most outstanding player. And stands right. When he drives, he seeks contact. Damask and Lipsy there. Screened by Rogers. Rogers has it now. And Shannon, 16 points. Reeling in, steering his way, hit the deck, foul called. As he took it hard, right in the teeth of that Iowa State defense. And it's hard to drive down the middle against Iowa State, Stan, but I mean, they just, they can't get in front of him, and he's going to draw a foul anytime he wants to. Yeah, they have not had any success of keeping him to his right hand. Trey King picked up the foul. Gone he is. Damarian Watson will take his place. And they get it out to Rogers. 
Hawkins with the ball. Gurye, Shannon found an opening, found a sliver in the corner. Damask, three, no, tip. Rogers brought Damask. Shannon makes the move, drives harder, balls inside. It's taken by Gilbert. Iowa State into Damask. Gilbert. Two big plays by right him. We got a five point game. Just like that. You let a team Six like point Iowa point. State hang around, you're asking for trouble. Damask and Lipsy will defend. Iowa State beat four ranked teams in the month of March. There's a foul. It's on Lipsy of Iowa State. And that is his second. And this is just a perfect example of how aggressive Iowa State is. And that's a foul because you're not allowed to get right up in a guy in college basketball. Well, they're going to take a look. Yes, they, they are. are. Yes, they because are. Because of what we saw. Well, this is a situation where, of course, he, he does get hit on the chin. But this is what the referees call a cylinder foul. And to think about that. Let's go to our rules analyst, Gene Steratore, who's been watching. And Gene, what would you see on this play? You know, Kevin, I'm going to tell on what Dan said. Lipsy's in the cylinder. To me, when Damask makes that upward movement, the arms aren't out, elbows out a lot. It looks like a basketball upward swim move to me. And with Lipsy in that cylinder, a defensive foul, I don't believe that's a flagrant foul on Damask at all. But I, I, I would agree with Gene. Most of it, if that elbow is swinging on a horizontal plane, then that's the indicator for a flagrant foul. But as Gene said, it looked like that elbow was going up, and Lipsy created that foul by getting in the cylinder. And the cylinder, Kevin, if you stand there with your arms at your side, your hand sticking out at a 90-degree angle, you're holding the basketball, you take a cylinder and you draw, just draw a circle from the basketball all around your body, and that's your cylinder. And the defense can't get in there, and if they do and make contact, it's a defensive foul. Our thanks to Gene Steratore for coming into our broadcast. And indeed, that is what they called them. Well, they pay attention to Gene. Well, we all pay into you, <laughs> not to me. To you, Dan. But that's that's the kind of physicality and aggressiveness that Iowa State shows on defense, and they cannot back off because that's the thing that's going to get them back in this game. Illinois has missed nine consecutive shots going back to the first half. They have not scored from the field in almost five minutes. Hawkins will try to change it. The three, no. The leaping rebound by Gilbert. He's had the hot hand to begin the second half for the Cyclones. That looked like a settle to me, Stan. Yeah, I thought that was too quick. They lacked patience. They've been able to get good shots when they've been willing to move the ball. Keyshawn Kibbers ruling in for two. It's a four-point game. Well, Gilbert did not have a bucket in the first half, and he's got three here in the first two minutes. Damask, and now Shannon. Rodgers a screen. Hawkins in the corner and across the lane with a series of fakes. Damask, shot clock at two. He's got a fire. Shannon the rebound. In hard, bump, shot it, cut it. And that long rebound kills you right there. You had a great defensive possession. It goes to Shannon, and Shannon goes in and creates contact and is able to finish. Lipsy hard to the hole. Suddenly now they're just going right through that Illinois defense. Yeah, they're getting it right to the rim every time to their strong hand. The and Illinois defense will have to be better. And finding some rhythm out of their offense. Damask. Inside, out to Hawkins, in the corner. Shannon takes it, tried to feed, ball knocked away. Hawkins on top, he makes the fake. Shot clock at four, got it, got it, Hawkins.
That's a big time shot right there. Shot fake, step back, knock it down. This guy has all the skills. He can dribble, pass, and shoot. And when you're 6'10 and can do all those things, you're a pretty good basketball player. His dad, Rodney, played college basketball at San Diego State. And Coleman, four years at Illinois. Kind of a rarity, it seems, these days. Illinois in the zone there, but now they're matched up. Gilbert's got it. Hawkins quickly comes out on him. Shot clock at five. Here's the three. It's a two. Foot was on the line. Two-point hit. Puts it down. Gilbert's got nine. And all eight of the nine have come here in the second half. He's a different guy here in the second half. Iowa State, five of five out of halftime. Rogers to mask. Four minutes gone. The defense by Gilbert. The ball not free. Gilbert's got the ball. Now taken by Jones. Gilbert's Gilbert doing it's a three. No. Rebound inside. Leaping and punching onto it. Guerrier. Then Schwinn racing the other way. He loses the ball. Curtis Gilbert. Gilbert. A junior from St. Louis, a transfer from UNLV, Keyshawn Gilbert with the hot hand. Four of four this half. Looking for the next bracket buster? Just tell Siri, show me the college basketball schedule. The Elite Eight game here in Boston will be at 6.09 Eastern on Saturday. It's 41-37. We've had a change, and this is why. They've given one more point to Iowa State. It was originally ruled a two, Dan. They make it a three on the replay. And that's what they do. At the television timeout, after that play happens, they go and they look. And he was clearly behind the line. Yeah, not even close. Damask is on Lipsy. Gilbert takes it in. And the leaping rebound snared in there by Shannon. Then we'll get him rocket the other way. Goody is in with Hawkins on top. Shannon has the ball. Illinois comes into the tournament, number 10 in the AP rankings. Hawkins three. Shannon, the collision right there with Watson. It's a foul, and it's on Shannon number three. That could change this game a little. Yeah, it sure could. Those are such tough calls. Yeah, they really are. Both guys going after the ball, but he clearly ran over Watson. Yeah, I think it was the right call, but such a tough call. I mean, if you're Terrence Shannon. Oh, Hawkins steals the ball, gallops, and turns. Now, we just showed the replay of Brad Underwood up yelling, and he wasn't yelling at the referee. He was yelling at Hawkins for taking that last shot. That's the way you get back in the good graces of your coach. Keyshawn Gilbert on top. Shannon is on him. Drives, shoves. Inside. It's picked off by Goody. Off to the mask. And now Gilbert with a couple of bad decisions. A tough shot, and then a turnover. It's Hawkins again. Working his way, feeding to Shannon. Corner, three, Goody. Oh! And right back up nine. Goody is a great shooter. Not a Goody shooter, a great shooter. <laughs> he leads the Illini in three-point percentage. Lipsy, Jones. Lipsy got it. And it goes in and down with Damarian Watson putting it through. His first two. Two great passes yep. by Lipsy on that possession. Damask quickly doubled. Oh, they puts him. They puts him. Can he get out of it? Shannon drives the baseline. Goal tend. Called on Robert Jones of the Cyclones. Head to Bleach. Uh, Shannon's got 20. Head to Bleach Report for the latest episodes of From the Point by Trey Young, featuring the Basketball Stars conversation with guests, perspectives on stories around the NBA. Download the Bleach Report app to watch now. Andy, what do you have? Well, what is playing out in the last couple of possessions is exactly what happened in that huddle. 
Brad Underwood throughout the course of the season. Sometimes he doesn't talk a lot. He empowers his players. I've seen it in covering their games. And he wanted Coleman Hawkins to speak in that auto, and he did. And you've seen it in the last couple, couple possessions of his leadership. He also wanted Luke Goody in there. He switched out Ty Rogers. They all complimented Goody about what he could do in there from the perimeter, and we just saw that as well. Andy, thank you. With a quick foul, it goes on Damask of Illinois. But Damask, I thought that last time, that last Illinois possession, Stan did a great job getting out of that double team. He maintained his pivot foot. He was able to turn and find the open man. Ding Dinja checks in, takes the place of Gurrier. Gurrier will check out. Danger will check in. He's a junior from Brooklyn, New York. Jones to Gilbert. Gilbert facing the wall. Back to Jones. Three. Another six point game. They just won't go away. No, they will not. And even when Gilbert isn't scoring, driving in there, he's drawing the defense and kicking it out for shots. Now they don't trap. They switch the pick and roll to give them a little bit of a different look here. It's Damask, driving and feeding. Goody in the corner. Harmon alone on top of the three. Danger's got the ball. Danger puts it in. Knock him down, Gilbert. Well, that's what happens when you switch. You're small on big inside. Illinois' size has been a huge factor in this game in a lot of ways. Harmon's on Gilbert, screened by Ward. He goes in, Hawkins knocked it away, and retrieved by Hassan Ward. And then an out shot is up. Omchinovic is the one to put it up. Hawkins just picked up his third foul for the Illini. Danger inside. Gilbert was lucky he didn't get a foul call him for riding Danger out. Well, then he just tried to flop because he knew he had no chance down there and give the referees credit for not rewarding the flop. Bonchilovic at the free throw line, the third highest rated recruit in Iowa State. He's from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They won three state championships there, a 6'8 freshman, and they kind of got an insight on him a couple different ways, but his high school coach played T.J. Otzelberger in a state championship game in the state of Wisconsin. So there was a familiarity, and that's why he is with the Cyclones. Inside, Danger caught it from Damask. That, that was, was a fun. terrific pass, Dan, from Damask. But Damask, he can pass the ball. Kevin, and the other thing is the high school coach actually helped recruit him and I don't know that the high school coach would have done that if T.J. Otzelberger's team had won that game, but the high school coach's team won the game. <laughs> yes, <laughs> good point. That's a really good point. Lipsy picked up his third. Danger at the free throw line. And Danger, you said it earlier, a sub-50% free throw shooter, now one for three tonight. He comes in and just throws his body around. Well, if he had a body like that, yeah, wouldn't you throw it? Yeah. I would <laughs> throw it around. It's picked up by Curtis Jones. Now Lipsy. Ward is on top. Hand off here to Curtis Jones. Works down the lane meticulously. Out of bounds. It's off of Illinois. Iowa State ball. Now, the interesting thing about all this, you just watch the game going on and you think Illinois is much further ahead than they are. This is still an eight-point game. Lipsy with the inbound. If he can find someone. Oshilovic has got it. Likes that one-foot step back, but he hasn't had any success tonight and he's having a lot of trouble finding any separation yeah that's that's really true stan the defender's right on it he's 0 of four he's got one free throw and that's it he averaged 15.7 yep. in the last three games all big games and all he's got tonight is one to mask will defend danger with the rebound 
Ainge will drive. Out of bounds. Off of. It'll be Iowa State's ball when we come back. EJ, thank you. That winner will take on Clemson. And Clemson is going to the Elite Eight, Dan, for the first time since 1980. And Clemson is also a team, Kevin. They're going to play either Alabama or North Carolina. They beat both North Carolina and Alabama on the road this year. How about that? Lipsy is on top. Damask has got him. Whistle away from the ball. Four fouls now on Shannon. Wow. He just ran through this screen. The referee looking right at it, working hard, but not a very smart play here by Terrence Shannon. You know, his third foul was a, the right call, but a tough call. That call was easy. They bring in Rodgers. Damask will be on the ball. Lipsy will inbound. And he gets it off to Gilbert. Gilbert in the paint. Foul. Well, Gilbert's a guy who uh, does a good job drawing fouls. He shoots five and a half free throw attempts a game. Very good for a smallish guard. Well, he got in there, and it looked like he stopped and waited for somebody to come close so he could draw the foul. So Gilbert will be at the line, 73%. Godzilla Kong, the new empire. He experienced it on the big screen and in IMAX. Only in theaters tomorrow. So Stan, you're asking, what are we going to do tomorrow on our off day? We're going to that. Okay. Godzilla Kong. All right. You buying? I am buying. Okay. Dan's got the popcorn. If it's free, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Illinois, the winningest team in the Big Ten over the last five years. Goody, three, rebound, Gary A. It's out of bounds. It's off Illinois. Well, now that is a great job once again, moving the ball. And Hawkins is the facilitator there when Damas gets out of the trap but you're not gonna make all those shots, and Goody had a wide open one. Yeah, no, that was great ball. You can't play against the double team any better than that, and I'm surprised, after watching practice yesterday, I'm surprised any time Luke Goody misses. Curtis Jones inside, great play. Trey King with a terrific pass. And this is a danger time for Illinois with Shannon on the bench with four personal fouls. With the third leading scorer in America on the bench. Damask. Zigzagging corner, Hawkins. King came up on him. Shot clock at seven. Hawkins leaps and feeds. Damask, three. Rebound, fought for inside. Claimed by Iowa State. Picked up by Robert Jones. Here comes Gilbert. Keyshawn Gilbert. State's back in it, and Keyshawn Gilbert is one of the main reasons why he had one point at halftime. But in the second half, he has done a great job driving the ball to the basket. He's got five field goals. He's knocked down a three. So he's got 14 points, but in addition to that, he's got four steals along with a couple of assists. So Iowa State, they looked like they were out of it in the first half, but now it's a two-point game. He had committed verbally to Otzelberger, but then Otzelberger left UNLV to go to Iowa State, and now he's followed him to Ames. Here we go. In the corner, the freshman's got Trey Gibbs, Lawhorn, and they bring the center over there, Robert Jones, to get him kind of snarled up. 14 seconds to shoot. Well, they showed zone out of that timeout and went and trapped out of it. Illinois caught off guard a little bit. Goody to inbound to Damask. Iowa State, 6-0 runs, and Shannon left with his fourth foul. 
Shot clock at six. Damask. Danger the screen. Jones the defense. Pass inside. Deflected. Steal. Here's a chance to tie at the other end. Gilbert on that breakaway. I think he expected to get more pressure than he got. And so he went a little harder than he needed to. I think he was looking for the foul. And that little wrist roll is yeah. probably ought to put that in your back pocket in that situation. That should have been a tie game after creating their ninth turnover of the night. Again, Shannon, the third leading scorer in America, is on the bench with four fouls for Illinois. Hawkins, Danger, triple, ball deflected. Goody's got it. Damask, inside. Danger, what a catch. And what a finish! Danger! Now Danger's strong inside. He had made 20 in a row shots before missing the last one, and then he's back on track now. Keyshawn Gilbert with it. It's a turnover. Danger behind the back. Retaken by Curtis Jones. Jones the other way, goes into Damask. Another miss on the doorstep. Out of bounds. It's Illinois' ball. It was a rather strange sequence. Damask, 6'9", 255, dribbling behind his back. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Dane Danger got a little delusional there. <laughs> and that's another play where Iowa State was expecting Jones, Curtis Jones was expecting more pressure than he got. And I think he hooked that one up much higher than he needed to. Yeah, they just need to go finish. And if Illinois blocks a shot, they block a shot. But they're making these shots tougher than they need to be. Ward checks in. Robert Jones checks out in the middle for Iowa State. Damask, cross court, Goody, three, corner, and no! Leaping rebound by Hassan Ward, taken by Danger, spins, leans, and no! Rebound, Watson, ahead it goes, Gilbert, on the side, three, no, by Curtis Jones. It's picked up by the Illini, under eight to go. Some good looks. Yeah, both, they, both teams had great looks at threes, and then... Danger was able to get on the glass, but couldn't take advantage. Lipsy watching Damask doubled into Danger. Watch the handle out of bounds off Iowa State. Shot clock at 11. And a timeout, 7.37 to go. We are back in Boston. Time to connect to the madness with the House of All Lights fan cam. It's powered by AT&T 5G. Good shots. A lot of action. The winner here goes to the Elite Eight. Fan has pretty good seats. Yes, they do. And they move right there. They were on the baseline, then up. With well, Iowa State at one time down by 13. They've never led. Iowa State has never led this game. No, and they had a chance to tie it. But the second half has been an Iowa State type game. Physical, ugly. Danger doubled. Danger blocked. It's Iowa State the other way with Keyshawn Gilbert. Well, Ward did a great job not only getting up on the block, but keeping that ball alive and saving it. Shannon on the bench, four fouls for Illinois. There's a foul, and it's on Gibbs Lawhorn. And that'll send Iowa State to the line. And Illinois in the first half had a big advantage in free throws attempted, but they were only 7 for 16 from the line. Let's see if Iowa State can cash in. So here is Curtis Jones at the free throw line. 78% free throw shooters having a good night. John right there coming up next. Adam Lefko, Jay Wright. Candace Parker, Seth Davis, and Auburn coach Bruce Pearl, one of our favorite, have all the highlights and analysis on Inside March Madness. It's presented by Buick, only on TBS. And a stunner out in L.A., North Carolina losing to Alabama. So it's Alabama and Clemson for the right to go to the Final Four with full court pressure here for Iowa State. Hawkins. That's a 6'10 man moving like a guard. Checking for danger. 
Picked up by Damask. I know it's early, but I think they're going to have to get Terrence Shannon back in this game. Just under the seven-minute mark. You're right. Hawkins on top. Danger screen. Hawkins will drive. Spin. Look. Fire. No. With a second to shoot. And a foul call. It's called inside. And it goes on Damarian Wilson. It's his first for Iowa State. That was a great defensive possession and no reason for Watson to foul there. Illinois with 28 wins the most in 19 years for this program. Hawkins, second team, all Big Ten at the line. The free throw shooting has killed them tonight. Eight for 19. If they were over 70%, 13 for 19. Five more points. I'm not real bright, but they'd be up seven right now. <laughs> Shooting one more. I mean, it's just been a huge problem. This is a senior at the line. Kissing two. And if they lose this game, you yep. only have to look at one place on the stat sheet. Yeah, look. I mean, he's an 80% free throw shooter. They're shooting 40% from the line and without Shannon they have fallen apart offensively. Jones to tie. Another try, another miss for Iowa State. We've had no ties. We've had no lead changes. I'd like to see them get the ball back again to the other side of the floor. It's Goody with the ball. Hawkins with it. Flashes inside. Great defensive play. Danger's got the ball. Losing. Rolling. Flattened in by Iowa State. Here they come the other way. Jones. Now you don't have to be in a hurry here. Lipsy and Hawkins is on him. Ward the screen. That's knocked away by Danger. What a great defensive play. Hawkins the other way for the Illini. Damask inside, splits. That is a big time finish right there. And Stan, that's only his second field goal of the game. He gets past Jones. Jones, you know, does the reach from behind, and once he gets the lane to the basket, takes the hit and still scores. Hassan Ward picked up his fourth foul. Five and a half to go, 5.38. With Illinois. Iowa State, 30-second timeout. On top by four. Timeout taken by the Cyclones. Here in Boston on TBS. You take a look at our game reset. They got Terrence Shannon checking back in for Illinois. While he sat with his fourth foul, the second leading scorer in the Big Ten and back is Zach Eady of Purdue. Iowa State outscored Illinois eight to four and had a couple chances to tie and they could not get it, Dan, both times. When you saw there on the game reset, Iowa State still has a foul to give. Damask is the fourth best free throw shooter in the Big Ten. 87%. That was a big, big point. Five point lead. I'd like to see Iowa State play from one side back to the other side and make this Illinois defense move. Lipsy, it's Jones. Three. He puts it down. 21 points. Curtis Jones. That's his fourth three. He has been outstanding without him. Obviously, this Iowa State team would be dead in the water. He averages 10. He's got 21. Hawkins, the senior with it. Cross court. Shannon. Corner three. And oh, what a hit. He's been on the bench for five, six minutes. And just comes right back in and knocks one down. And now he's at his average on the season at 23, third leading scorer in the country. Curtis Jones fakes and feeds. Driving that baseline, putting it in. Trey King. He's got eight. That was great verticality there. 
by Hawkins, but King got through him and finished. Damask. Four and a half to go. Lipsy the defense. Doubled by Jones. Goody on top. His three. Bullseye! That was a great shot. He looked the defender away and created a wide open lane for himself. Yeah, he wanted to swing the ball. I like Illinois having him out there right now. Timeout, Iowa State! What a response by Illinois to this Iowa State run. First, it's Damask with the old-fashioned three-point play. Then it's Terrence Shannon. He just came off the bench and knocks him down. And then Luke Goody, he's in there to do exactly this. He's missed a couple, but that one was right in the goal. With a look at our game summary. There's still a long time oh. to go in this game now. Remember, Shannon is a very aggressive player, playing with those four fouls. He's got 23 points, and that's what he averaged in the regular season. But in tournament play, the Big Ten tournament in the Twin Cities and the NCAAs, averaging 31. Robert Jones on top, under four to go. Picked up by Keyshawn Gilbert. Now to King, shot clock at six. It's back to Gilbert. Goody is on him. On top it goes, caught by Curtis Jones, no! Tanja wipes the glass clean. He's got six rebounds, Andy, what do you have? Well, to Dan's point, they were stressing in the Iowa State Harlow to Gilbert, but Shannon has four fouls. Be aggressive, continue to attack him. Everything offensively has to be at the rim. Tanja into Jones, it's the death foul call. Iowa State had a foul to give. Well, they did, Kevin, but I think in this situation, they would prefer the danger go to the line. Absolutely. I, I don't think there was a foul on that play. I think that danger lost his balance and went down. Illinois comes in with the number one efficiency offense in college basketball. Tipped by Robert Jones. Danger from behind, and Jones will see It's a four-point game. That is Iowa State's 11th steal of the night. They average just over 10. One of the leaders in the country. They're one of the best defenses in college basketball. Damask. Lipsy defends. Damask. Right there, and he couldn't get it. Lipsy the rebound. Lipsy the other way, underneath, and oh, missed by King, right there, and he could not convert. How many of those have they missed? A lot. Damask, it's the three seed against the two seed. Two and a half to go. Hawkins with the ball. King is on his back. It's Shannon, three to fire, the feed, Danja! What an assist, and it goes to Shannon. Now the other way, Gilbert, finding oh. Jones into danger. With a whistle and a foul on Illinois. Right. Clock at 2.09. Here's the pass to King. Wow, he doesn't even get it up on the rim. And now Rob Jones at the line. He's a 50% free throw shooter. Danger picked up his second. Robert Jones at the line. Two years a starter at the University of Denver. Third season at Iowa State. He was on that Sweet 16 team a couple years ago. The Sweet 16 continues tomorrow with doubleheaders on CBS and TBS. It all starts with the Nissan NCAA tip-off show at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time on TBS. Knocks them both down. Those are two big free throws for Robert Jones. And he's only a 50% free throw Absolutely. shooter this season. That stroke looks a lot better than 50%. Wow. And Iowa State subs him out so they can 
set their press. Goody inbounds to Damask. Now to Hawkins. They break the press. And Hawkins has been the guy who's they've been their outlet guy, and he's made great decisions once he's caught the ball. Yeah, I'd feel pretty good if I were Brad Underwood and the ball gets to Hawkins. Illinois with the ball with a four-point lead. Shot clock at seven. Terran Shannon, the screen, the drive, the feed. Hawkins in the corner. Damask, three. Rebound, Goody. And then tapped in by Hawkins. They called a foul. They did. On the tip by Goody. No basket. It was a late call, but the right call, I believe. Hassan Ward picked up his fifth for Iowa State. Now, Goody's only been to the line, clearly gets fouled there. He's only been to the line 21 times. He's shooting 62%. As good a three-point shooter as he is, he struggled. Yeah, Hawkins obviously wanted the basket there, but... The foul had been called. These are two big free throws here with 137 to go. Two shots for Goody. His uh, dad played college football at Indiana. And you may remember his grandfather, Irv Goody, who played 13 years in the NFL. And I know you know his uncle, Trent Green. And like Trent, he was an All-State High School quarterback. In Indiana, and Goody at the line, it's the first. Goody's given them a nice lift tonight. Those yeah, two threes sure were huge. And then that offensive rebound there to put him at the line. He's got the steely nerves of his uncle. Well, this is the most skill that Iowa State can put on the floor at one time. Down six. Lipsy. King hits the deck. Goody was trying to climb through a screen. And Goody picks up the foul. It's number one on Lou Goody, a junior. And Trey King's an 80% free throw shooter. Yeah, that's a foul. At the line, shooting one and one. Goody never saw it. I mean, he's trying to keep the ball away from Gilbert. Trey King, a transfer from Eastern Kentucky. Last season led Iowa State in free throw percentage. But you don't want him scoring right now with the clock stopped. That was four seconds. And King's at the line, a chance to get two. Time, a big part of this. You need to make him take some time, and you don't want to be sending him to the free throw line. Robert Jones comes back in. Trey King will take a seat. A minute and a half to go in a four-point game. You know, I might consider if Danger touches the ball, just fouling him. Well, even if Danger gets involved in the play, like if he's coming up to set a screen, just root him out. That would be the Danger Zone. <laughs> Here comes Shannon. Damask, and Lipsy is on him. Terrific defender. Terrence Shannon. Change of the screen, switch on D. Shannon inside the dive and the foul. This guy's unbelievable. He's made four threes. He's driving the ball and getting to the free throw line. Just so hard to defend. He goes so strong. Stan, any quick, I mean, like this kid is quick twitch. He's like shot out of a cannon, wow. but, he's, but he's so strong also, you can't knock him off his path. Now he's one for four tonight at the line, but generally an 82% free throw shooting. Checking back into the game for the Cyclones, Trey King and Mila Manchilovic. Mike right, King has come back in. Omar Chilovic has come back in, too, for the Cyclones. Tough scoring night for him. He usually averages 11. And tonight he's got one. Boy, he missed it again. He sure oh, did. He is struggling at the line. Five-point game. It's Tim and Lipsy. 
They know Rogers on him. One minute remains. Curtis Jones down the lane, scoops it home. Under a minute to go. It's a three-point game. Good strong drive, and again, didn't take much time. Damask. He had a lot of room, and Damask didn't quick enough to guard him. Timeout, Illinois. One left for them, one for the Cyclones, 43 seconds. Illinois will have it. They lead by three, 15 seconds on the shot clock. And for Illinois, they, you know, they have had Hawkins handle the ball in these situations and Damas, but you have to figure that what they're going to try to do, whoever starts with it, it's going to end up in the hands of Shannon. You would think so, but they've got to play to score right now. Yes. They can't run this clock down more. Other than I will say one thing, if Danger's involved in the play and you get any opportunity to foul him that is not an intentional foul, I would take it. Like, I'd push him right now on the screen. Shannon drives the collision, the foul. You had an opportunity there to foul Danger. He's coming to set the screen. Doesn't have to be intentional. You can just root him in the screen, let the referee make the call. Now, I know Shannon has struggled. I'd still rather be having Shannon at the line if I'm Illinois than Dane Danger. <laughs> yeah. King picks up his fourth foul. Shannon at the free throw line, two or six. Tomchilovich, Dan, has checked back in. They take out. Damarian Watson. And this is still a one and one. Third team All America Shannon. <laughs> Illinois in their first sweet 16 and 19 years. Still a lot of time. It's a Lipsy rebound. It's a four-point game, and here come the Cyclones. Screen, Lipsy. Omshilovich. Oh, it's taken by Shannon. The steal for Shannon. Six-point game inside and out. And off of Illinois, 15.7. What happened here? Uh, it was Shannon, that's what happened. A one-handed pass off the dribble without even looking. And Shannon with his third steal tonight, and even with his disaster at the free throw line, 27 points. Yeah, but Gilbert did not step to that ball, and he allowed Shannon to get right in front of him. Omchilovich has just been a nightmare for him tonight. No field goals, one point. That was his second turnover, and that was a huge one. Well, this is in the last couple minutes of the game. You're allowed to look and see who was the last one who touched the ball. And it looked like it was Damask that got it. Oh, oh, that's interesting. I thought it was off Damascus' arm. I think it would be hard to say that's clearly, yes, the wrong call and needs to be overturned. Bottom line is, either way, Illinois is in great shape right now. If you just don't give up a quick three, you're in good shape. Let's go to our rules analyst, Gene territory. Gene, what'd you see? I've got it off the masked hand at the end there, Kevin, and, and I've got 16-4 on the, on the game clock as well. You see a touch there uh, yep. briefly right there, I believe, by Iowa State, but I think the masked hand rides through there and his last to touch. I, I'm telling you what I would do right here if I'm Iowa State, 15.7 to go. Whenever the shot goes up, I am pushing Dane Danger on the board. <laughs> Bucket would still count. I'd send Dane Danger to the line at the other end. You're, and if you don't score, you're going to have to foul right away. That ball goes in the air. I am pushing Dane Danger. Clock will go to 16-4. It's a six-point Illinois lead. And the Cyclones will inbound. Curtis Jones will 
inbound it, and Lipsy will get it. And quickly off to Jones in the lane, into Danger, out of bounds. And now the clock at 12.2. I mean, unless they're just going to let you hand it to somebody for a layup, a, a drive doesn't do you any good right now. I mean, you're down 6, 12 seconds. You've got to try to look for a quick three. Just as the clock back to 12 6. Jones will inbound. Lipsy's got it. Jones again, fouled by Danger as he fired a long shot. Should be shooting three right here. Yep. It was a three-point try, 9.9. And they'll put Curtis Jones, a 78% free throw shooter, at the line. Three coming his way. And tonight, guys, five of five from the strike. Yeah, if you said, what's the worst thing we could do on this defensive possession? That would be it. They're going to give him a chance to score three and cut it to a one-possession game with the clock stopped. Well, Hawkins did a nice job jumping at the ball, but missing him. But Danger jumped right at him, and that's a great job by Curtis Jones to recognize that Danger's totally out of position and just jump right into him. Well, this is one now on the NBA level. I've seen it done. Doc Rivers would do it. That ball goes up. They'd be shoving Dane Danger right now, trying to get the foul call right there because he ain't going to be anywhere near the ball. It's the full court pressure again. Goody will inbound. It's off to Shannon like a rocket. He comes the other way. We have a bump right there by Gilbert. And Gilbert will pick up the foul. Keyshawn Gilbert. That is his third. But more importantly, Kevin, that's the 10th team foul on yep. Iowa State. Two so shots. Shannon's going to have two shots. Now in the one-on-one -on -one situation, he's made the first one but missed the second one. Yeah, he's three for eight tonight and still has 27 points. Terran Shannon. Shannon is the first Illinois player ever to have three 25 plus point games in the NCAA tournament. Well, if you're Illinois now, do not let them roll the ball up the floor here. You want to push everybody to the baseline and make them take time dribbling it up the floor. Time on Iowa State. Six seconds to go. They trail 72-67 for the right to go to the regional final. There's our game reset. Six seconds to go. And a deficit of five for the Cyclones. Yeah, this is going to be pretty tough now. If Iowa, Iowa State throw the ball up right, the floor. If, if Iowa State scores, then of course the clock stops when the ball goes through the basket. But if Illinois inbounds the ball, they don't even have to get it across half court because no. there's only six seconds left. And if you're Iowa State now, you've got to throw this ball up the floor. Lipsy, and it's caught by Jones, and a shot inside by King, who will get it to go to point two. And it's in to Goody, the game is over. And Illinois is going to a regional final for the first time in 19 years. Well, in the regional final, guys, we've got the two best offensive teams in America playing each other. We will harness ourselves in. It'll be Illinois and defending national champion, UConn.